Okay, guys, usually there's someone from Matchroom running this shit, but uh, I came from Canada. We're going to start a press conference quickly just for the Sam side. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll take everyone selecting by the hand, or you guys can just go direct, actually. Go ahead. No questions? That's it then. You guys just watched that fight? No questions? Do you want to just give us your over and your thoughts on the fight? It was a good fight, man. I mean, I thought I had him uh, in the second round. Uh, just, just, you know, I had him, uh, put him down hard, but um, the, the belt saved him. You know, it was too close to the bell. I dropped him hard, man. I was, I was really pumped. But, you know, the, the bell, you know, the bell was, was just right there, and then that was, that was the end of the round. And then uh, he just used his speed, man. It's a great boxer, awesome speed. Um, and you know, every time I was just a little bit, little bit away from the right hand, from the left hooks. And uh, yeah, like I said, man, I did, I did. I gave everything I had, man. I had no excuses. You know, I want to thank my team, the promoter, uh, Chris Johnson, Greg, and everybody in my team. That's all. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. Be, you know, considering I'm, 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 I'm facing against uh, a, world cha a former world champion or Olympic medalist, I thought it was gonna be a lot more work. But uh, you know, it happened. And, uh, you know, after that, I heard him a couple of times, and then he just, you know, he had to do what he had to do, and that was box. So. Samuel, what are your thoughts on the scorecards? They were quite wide. I mean, look where I'm at, man. <laughs> this, 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 this is not. I'm not here. I'm not gonna get a decision here, so I'm not. I didn't even listen to the decision, to be honest. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel, how is your training with Chris gone from your previous last two fights? Oh man, as you've seen, like uh, I was in tremendous shape, man. Tremendous shape. Uh, you know, we've been, I started boxing with Chris when I was 16 years old, all the way, you know, and then we all the way to 13 and 0. Then we, we, we parted ways and then we're, we're back now for this fight. So, you know, when you look back, you know, you think, you know, what if, what if I would have stayed with him the whole time? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, mean, I did a couple of technical mistakes in the fight that maybe I got hit too much or maybe I fought with too much balls or, you know, in the heat of the moment, but. You know, things that we can correct, right? And, uh, but, you know, this training camp with him was amazing, man. And, uh, you know, like I said before, you know, happy to have him, happy to have him in my life, that's all. Samuel, can you give us your assessment of Amir's hand speed and his power compared to some of the other guys you've been in against? Hand speed, has, hand speed is really, really fast. Um, well, I'm gonna say he's fast. And he's got really, really good feet. You know, he gets on that bike and he just goes. <laughs> You know, but hey, but you know, it, it, yeah, you know, can't hate on him. You know, it's just, he's just a good mover. But as uh, for his power, you know, I'm here, I'm smiling. <laughs> Chris, first time back with him. What do you yeah. think? I mean, <clears throat> like this is a moment we we, we uh, spoke about when he was 16 years old, just coming into the sport, right? That one day you're going to be at this stage. And when I came back in six weeks ago to train him. It was like we never left. It was just we just connected, and uh, I, like I told Lee after the after the fight, I wish I would have had just a little bit more time with him, you know, <laughs> rather than six weeks, you know. But it is what it is, and I, and I just think that a fighter like this has so much heart and commitment to the sport. Like it's so easy to teach him, and he listens to everything you tell him to do. So it's. It's like a pleasure for me to come back and, you know, this training camp, even with uh, his, his promoter, Lee Baxter, it was just a tremendous uh, training camp. Everybody was cool and relaxed and uh, we came out here and did what we, what we had to do.